Hello, welcome to my toilet review of Fear Street Part 2, 1978. So, I watched the second part of this trilogy from Netflix, this uh, terror or whatever, but it's uh, mostly a slasher trilogy. And um, I enjoyed the first movie, and now uh, the continuation of the story that uh, has a through line. Uh, and they are going like in, in time, going back in time to explain what happened. And uh, I enjoyed the first, but I enjoyed this mo uh, more. I think um, the issues I found with the first one are uh, mostly gone. Uh, the rest stays the same, like uh, I think the writing is good, uh, the production, the design, the feeling, like the acting, the direction. And now I, I think they took it uh, as serious, serious as they should have from the beginning. I didn't appreciate in the first movie that some parts they are were making like light of stuff, when uh, especially with uh, one character that was like a goofball, like comic relief. In this movie, there was no comic relief, and. The movie was better for that if, because of that. Uh, different actors and still, I think, good performances as in the first one. The story is getting in, uh, is as in interesting as in the first, but maybe getting better because you know more. Of course, it's like uh, some some stuff is really simple. But it's great to see, like, if this was an onion, seeing the peels coming out and you start to to things that you saw on the first movie, you now realize more about them. You see the connections and whatnot, you know, like, it's kind of also a small story in a way, like self-contained in one space. And uh, like uh, when it was in, in a short amount of time, like usually the slashers are, and just like in the, that place, this one was mostly spent on a was mostly spent on a, a camping, like a, a, I'm forgetting, like kids go to camps in America, you know, like a summer camp. Yeah, that's it. Most of the story happens on, on the summer camp and uh, that's cool because uh, for sure they they kind of save money. I, I don't think this was an expensive movie but it doesn't look cheap, cheap so uh, cheap so yeah. So I, I'm looking forward for the next one to see how all of this started and yeah like I wanted to say, like, the first movie felt like Scream, right? Like a slasher inspired by Scream. And it was set in the 90s. Uh, Scream is a movie from the 90s. And this one, although I'm not, as I, I said before, I'm not a horror fan. And I don't, uh, I, I really don't like uh, jump scares and stuff like that. I do know Halloween and uh, Friday the 13th. I think this is like a, a movie that is inspired by those movies. I, mostly probably Halloween. I'm not sure. I think it is. Not not really sure, but I think the feeling, the the, the design, the everything, like as the first one was made to feel like Scream, this was made to feel like Halloween or Friday the 13th. I have no idea what they are going to do with the, the, the last one because it's, well, at least in, like in uh, what's the thing that they are going for, like the theme, the, the, the mood. They said this mood, I don't know, maybe inspired by movies that were set in that, that time in, 16, in the 16, 1700s because it's 1666. I guess they are going to make it like a witch movie like witch hunters, stuff like that. So looking forward to that. 
And uh, regarding this movie, going by my rating, uh, it's like two poop emojis, and maybe not even two, but yeah, two poop emojis, and uh, we'll see how it ends. Then I will give my final thoughts, my thoughts on the final final movie, and my final thoughts on the trilogy that I'm really appreciating. I like the first, and I like this mo uh, more, and I sure hope that I like the last one as much as the second one, if possible, more. Let's see. So now I need to flush.